Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about how you can make six figures working from home in 2021. All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. All right, so if I told you you could make six figures of working from home, you'd probably think that I would be one of those scam Facebook ads, but believe it or not, that actually happened to me back in 2012, and I'm gonna talk about how you can do the same thing in 2021. So let's talk about me first. Now, believe it or not, I've been trying to get my business up and going from 2008 all the way to the end of 2011. It was an uphill battle. It was very hard. I tried many different things and nothing seemed to work. And then all of a sudden I made an online course and everything worked from there. Now, of course I did have some success. I made a bunch of apps. I made an Xbox 360 game. I was freelancing, but I wasn't at the success level that I wanted to be. I still had at least one job in addition to what I wanted to do. But that all changed in 2012 when I literally made six figures working from home. I remember it so vividly that I went to play Ultimate Frisbee and I was checking my income online and I had made $1,200 in the time it took me to play two Ultimate Frisbee games. It was absolutely amazing. Now what's interesting is that I paid more in taxes in 2012 than I made in 2011 altogether. In fact, my income was so low, I barely got the apartment that I used to make my six-figure and frankly seven-figure now business. So what I did is I dressed up in a suit and I made a very good impression on the property manager. And the property manager said, we absolutely want you. But when I sent my financials to the head office, they said, there's no way that this person can actually live. Believe it or not, it was a very precarious thing to do, but it actually ended up working in the end because my living situation before that was absolutely terrible. So this can absolutely happen to you at any time, but how did I get there and how can you make this happen for yourself in 2021? Well, what I was doing is I was constantly working and trying out new ideas. Some worked, some didn't, some worked well, and some didn't work well, and others sort of worked altogether. My problem is that it didn't work out as well as I wanted it to, but I learned new things along the way. In fact, I failed four years for three hard years during the recession, and I learned so much through that failure. So it's very hard to get ahead, and especially if you are just entering the workforce, it's going to be very, very difficult to, to get experience. And this is the one thing I see with a lot of people that are sub 25 right now. If you don't have experience, it's going to be very hard because now that everyone's working from home and big companies are going remote, you cannot get that face time with people to make a good impression. And a lot of these people aren't even hiring new people. They're just trying to make sure that they're not going to be out of business in a year. And even I say that because I run an e-learning company. I don't know what the future holds and I want to make sure that I can weather any kind of storm. So what do you need to do to make six figures working from home in 2021? Well, first you need an in-demand skill. If you are a coder, and this can be any kind of coding, but if you are really good at coding and you can get the job done and you can do the job with absolute finesse, you will absolutely be able to make this kind of money. Coding is not going away anytime soon. And I know this for a fact because I used to be more of a designer or front end web developer. And what I noticed is that as soon as I switched to coding, my career skyrocketed quite a bit. And this can happen to you too. So if you don't know to code, you should absolutely learn to code. And the best way to do that is to buy our digital price down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. But if you really want a good job, cybersecurity is one of the best things that you can go into. Not a lot of people like it. And even I get a little bit bored with the topics in cybersecurity and because of that cybersecurity has a very low unemployment but you do have to be good and there are a lot of certifications so if you are really looking for a new job and you like cybersecurity cybersecurity is a fantastic career in addition if you can code and learn cybersecurity that is a foolproof way to make money now let's say you don't want to code let's say you want to do something else well you can always freelance and if you are a really good freelancer you can charge more money and if you're good at photoshop or adobe Adobe Illustrator or Blender 3D or game development, it doesn't matter what you want to do. If you're really good at it and you get things done on time, 
you can charge more money for it because as a company owner, it is very hard to find people to get things done on time. You can hire 10 people and sometimes these people just don't get things done on time. Getting things done on time is super important. Another big tip I have for you is that if you do want to make six figures, your soft skills need to be absolutely finessed. And what I mean by that is that if you're not good to work with, you will not make a lot of money. It doesn't matter what it is you're doing. If you're not good to work with people to want to hire you, especially now that people are working from home. Now, the big question is whether or not companies are going to stop working from home once the pandemic is over. And I think a lot of companies will, but a lot of companies will have some kind of blended approach. Approach. Personally, at my company, I'm just going to keep all my workers remote because it doesn't really make a difference to bring people in. However, if I do want to expand, I will need to use the office at some point in time. And of course, I like going to my office because I really like working alone. So in addition to freelancing, you should constantly be releasing product. If you are a coder, like say a game developer, you need to be releasing a game or you need to be releasing assets for a game or you need to be teaching content. Teaching is a very good way to monetize some of your expertise. However, the e-learning industry isn't the cash cow it once was, and I'll be talking about that in a future video. If you really want to hear more about that topic, please comment down below. But if you do want to release courses on Udemy or your own site, this is a really good idea. Not only is it good for you to make these courses and to flesh out some of the beginner concepts, it looks great on a resume. Just in case you do want to get a job at a bigger company, and even if you do get a job, you can actually be making six figures from home if it's in your contract to actually work from home. So the other thing you want to do is start a YouTube channel. If you sell courses or games or other products, and you have a YouTube channel, then you can sell those products on your YouTube channel. The more views on YouTube you get, the more career credit you get. I should do a whole episode on career credit, so please like and subscribe to see that episode in the future. And if you're really lucky with YouTube, you can actually make money just from making videos and sponsorships, etc. So how do you make six figures working from home? Well, you can freelance, release products, and build your brand. If you do these three things, then maybe you can make six figures working from home. And you don't need to click on one of those scammy Facebook ads. All right, so that concludes this video. I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers you get, the more content we can make. It really does help us out when you like and subscribe this. And of course, please share this everywhere you can. If you really like this channel, you can buy our digital products down below. The more money you get from the content that you buy below, the more free content on this channel we can make. In addition to that, if you really, really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every month. And it's the best way to not only help with this channel, but my business, Mammoth Interactive. Our goal is to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers on Mammoth Interactive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.